Hi everyone, it's Lou Collins. Welcome to another Distress Oxide colour combination video. So today we are looking at chipped sapphire. So we are on to the next in the line of the alphabet. So we're looking at the C's. Um, chipped sapphire is a beautiful deep blue colour. I've actually got a purple handled blending brush, which really bothers me. So I'm going to have to buy another one. Um, but yeah, so we, we've got a really nice deep dark blue. It's actually one of the darkest blues out there. The two that are kind of comparable. Faded jeans, you can see not too much difference, but chip sapphire is definitely a little bit darker. And then um, my favourite of all time colours, just here, is Uncharted Mariner. And if you put the two together, you see that's got a slightly more green tone than chip sapphire. So let me know if that's helpful actually, comparing them to sim other similar colours. Um, in the range too and I'll do that I'll include that in more of the videos but if you're just joining us uh, welcome this is an alphabetical upload series um, you can see all the other colors that we've got through so far so all the A's all the B's in the distress oxide range and most of the C's because we're getting towards the end of the C's now and I am going to work through all the way to whatever the last one is it's certainly not a Z is it but um, getting close so chipped sapphire is like i say beautiful deep blue let's start by just putting it down onto white cardstock so you can really see how gorgeous it is kind of has a a hint of a i think a purpley tone to it you're obviously seeing it a bit wet there but it's such a wonderful blue not quite a royal but not quite a navy i suppose it's probably the closest to navy i should say so let's now do our first colour combination and again if you are new to us, um, if you've not joined me along the way doing these colour combination videos before, we are looking at two and three colour combinations uh, or sorry adding in two colours and adding in three colours to this focus colour for each video. So for the additional two colours, so for the three colour combination, I'm going to be looking at keeping it quite tonal and we go with Stormy Sky and Lost Shadow. So this is going to be quite a, almost a, a sort of dull, moody sort of colour combination, but I just think it's still beautiful. Very uh, peaceful and calm, this one. And because Lost Shadow is so, so pale, uh, it, it really is barely there. Um, actually, you're looking at this almost fading out into what looks like white now. I'm just going to blend in the beautiful stormy sky there into chipped sapphire. Isn't that, you can see how wet uh, stormy sky is. So it's quite a new ink pad, but it is gorgeous. Let's just blend that in a little bit better at the bottom there. So that will all dry and then you'll lose that. Those, see those wet patches, you'll lose that. That will be completely matte all over there. And then if I just dampen this, and again, like I say, I always, I wet my blending mat and then I dry my blending mat just to make sure that there's no water. If you get water on your mat, if your brushes are wet, anything like that, it's really going to affect the way uh, the inks blend on the paper or the cardstock, but also it's really going to affect uh, the actual cardstock itself because it's going to start pulling at that cardstock. So with what's left on my brush, I'm just going to lightly fade that upwards. This needs a little more work just here. And then Lost Shadow. So this is the newest at the moment in the Distress Oxide range. We're waiting for what I believe is the last of the Oxide colours to be released. And look at this, it's just a beautiful grey. It really is barely there. So you can blend that. You can literally blend this into almost any colour. I feel like it's got a very light um, oh, I've just marked the blue there, but never mind. I feel like it's got a very light um, kind of gr um, lilac colour shade to it. So I just scratched the blue there with my nails, but just aren't they just absolutely gorgeous? Just running into that almost silver there. I feel like it's got almost a pearlescent finish to it. Of course, it's just damp at the moment. It will, everything will dry nicely but that is just a lovely lovely color combination very very like i say very peaceful very calm now let's look at using chip sapphire again but this time we're going to go a bit brighter 
not massively bright. I'm actually still keeping it within the cool colours for the most part. <laughs> and we're going to start again. We'll start with chipped sapphire. Not too much, I just want to do a little bit on the base here. Now I'm not going to actually go any more than that at the moment because this is one of those colour combinations where if you have a deep dark colour like this, and we've actually seen it happen here, it's very easy for that deep dark colour to start edging into the next colours and almost take over. So you want to really place down and make sure that you've got your other colours in there and that they are nice and solid and they're kind of holding their ground before you start mixing other colours in there. So there's my peacock colour, uh, sorry, peacock feathers. And now I'm going to just do my blending. So starting back at the bottom here and just blending a little bit into peacock feathers. Just a beautiful, now those two colours together are stunning. Some of my favourite colours. I almost had those two colours or similar as my wedding theme. We actually ended up going for one colour, just the just the dark blue, but almost those two were my kind of wedding theme colours. At one point, you know, when you go through these stages of um, deciding what colours to have. Okay, so let's give this a wipe now because we're now going to go into a green because uh, peacock feathers is a turquoise it then lends itself to go easily from blue into green so I'm going to go into peeled paint one of my favorite greens it's a lovely bright color just again reinstate or reinstate just put down your color first of all nice and solid not blending at the moment just ensuring we've got really solid color there and then peacock colours, I'm going to want to bring this back in. So now I'm reinstating because I'm going back over the first lot that I did. And I'm just gently working my way into that peeled paint. And we can keep going over. And again, for a three colour combination, that would be lovely. But we're just going to add some yellow onto the end there just to really brighten it up. And I've chosen to go for fossilised amber because it's kind of a, well, as it says, it's an amber. It's not a bright, bright orange or yellow. Sorry, it is more of an orange tone, so it's a warmer yellow. The peeled paint works beautifully into it. Let's just blend those two together. Look at that. Gorgeous. So then we're going from chipped sapphire into peacock feathers, into peeled paint, and into fossilized amber. Just so lovely, kind of beach scene there as well, if you wish. So there are two color blends using the gorgeous chipped sapphire, absolutely beautiful blue, the darkest of the blues. As I say, there is a comparison earlier in this video with Uncharted Mariner, and also Faded, uh, was it? faded jeans I did I think it was um, two of the darker blues that sit around the similar sort of colors just so you've got a comparison for those two those colors of course will also work quite nicely into these color blends uh, but particularly with the gray there chip sapphire is absolutely beautiful let me know if you try any of these color blends please do subscribe check out the playlist for other colors and I'll see you again very very soon with another video